I, I could, we could still play and talk shit at the same time. Oh, that's gonna be difficult, you know. But wait, you're not American. You can do two things at the same time. Hey, not very well. <laughs> Do you, do you remember the first time I played this? What's that when? Yeah, you were there, remember? Yeah. Oh, do you remember the last level? You up yeah, like I, 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 I streamed it over Skype with you, and we sat there for like, like fucking four hours or some shit. Oh yeah, that was a long fucking stream. Actually. And remember, I was like, we, I was like stuck on the last level. <laughs> How many times did you die? Oh shit, that was the only one that was able to eat up all 50 lives. Yeah. And then you had and then you had to go to sleep, and then I, I did it like a uh, half an hour later. So yeah. You know, I, I don't know if ZZ has a I I honestly I don't know how to pronounce his name. I, I don't know if he has a problem with me, like I mean I don't care, like <laughs> There's plenty of fucking people that have a problem with me. <laughs> Yeah, what was that? That one nut job was actually accusing you of being me. <laughs> of course, we were the same person, don't you know? Yeah, they were actually saying that you and I are the same person. You're just a stock account. Yeah, that's that's the truth, man. I'm I'm you in a different universe. You're like my second uh, second character skin. Like if I have to fight myself in a match, the the second player is you. <laughs> I'm trying to think of name. I don't know, I, I like Finnish Bolshevik. He's cool. Finnish Bolshevik? Yeah. I've talked to him a bunch of times. He has a video on your channel. Okay, Libertarian Leninism? I've never had it explained to me, so like, it, it, it sounds like it sounds like libertarian socialism it's not with me. a vanguard, which kind of is contradictory. But I'm sure he probably has his own explanation of what that is, which would be different from probably what I'm, I'm assuming it is. So I can't really say shit if I don't know what it is. You know what would be really fun? What? We went to Lefty Pole. Ooh, Lefty Pole. A <laughs> deeper Arcanis nuke Los Angeles. <laughs> I don't have to agree with you. Well, at least DPRK won't have to nuke Detroit because it's already nuked. Yeah, like you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, no difference. Oh, <laughs> ZZ's here. Um, the irrelevancy of culture, morals, racial superiority, and degeneracy. Where is he? Well, I mean, I, that's just a title. I can't go by like what he's meaning. Like, he's saying culture is irrelevant. Like, what is he saying? Like, we have to make a new one or something? Like, I, I, I would have to watch the video to know what he was talking about. So I can't really. I can't critique it because I don't know it. Irrelevance of culture. Culture is important. Yeah, culture I would think is important. You you want to guide it in a particular direction to build up, you know, what is the socialist society. Yeah, but, but I mean, again, I, I don't know what he put. <laughs> like, in the, so what will video games look like under socialist? <laughs> like, fucking serious. Like you actually care? I used to I used to get that like years ago. Like kids would like mess me and say, Are 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 we gonna have video games in communism or socialism? And I was like, dude, if you even have to ask that question, you ain't a fucking socialist. Okay, let's say there's no video games in socialism at all. They're completely gone. Are you like now going to just ditch socialism because you don't have video games yes yeah i mean fuck that whole poverty and you know third world people dying shit right yeah fuck that shit you yeah i'm mean, not gonna games. have video games it's not worth it actually 
I was talking to uh, a guy from the LLCO, and he suggested that actually in uh, socialism or communism, yeah. it would be better to do it more like they do in the DPRK. Like, when you go to play video games, you're actually yeah. going to, like, an arcade. Well, yeah, that's technically what they do have. But they yeah. do have PC games, too. Yeah, but, but go, like, go to, a like, an arcade, like, with your friends. Yeah. And you all like share in the games, and that way you have a social connection at the same time as you play the video game, so you don't get like the the alienation factor. Yeah, I I'd, 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 I'd like that. Yeah, and you don't get the uh, commodification of it where you got to buy the newest system and all that shit, and then you got to get games. But yeah, that yeah. would be yeah. I think that's a better idea. But, but people forget uh, Soviet Union. Uh, people forget the movie industry in Soviet Union, like. Uh, do you ever, anyone know that the Soviet Union basically invented modern cinema? All the, almost all the modern techniques in cinema has been invented in Soviet films. Everything like the, the fast cutting Hollywood action sequence. That's all. That's Soviet Union. All of it. So that's a video you should make. You should make that video. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people really realize how free. The Soviet cinema actually was to make whatever they pleased within the few regulations that the state actually put out. Yeah, basically like that video of um, George Lucas, where he was talking about how Soviet directors had more freedom than he did. Yeah, then that's actually true. Because yeah. they didn't have the, the limitation of a budget. The, there was no budget. You just took the resources you needed to make that movie, and that's it. Then you made it. I mean, you can even get the army to stand in to play as soldiers. That, that happened quite often, actually. Let, let's see what... I never watched so this video. Jason Unro, as he's, or as he's also known, Maoist Rebel New, rawr, rawr, rawr. on September 11th to take a great big shit in America's mouth. Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing, but okay. <laughs> Stating the obvious. The worst, part is, the worst part is I don't know if he's sober or not in this video. It's hard to tell. Oh, I've seen that video. I've seen that guy. I, 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 I mean, I know who he is, but I've never actually watched this video because I know it's going to be funny as fuck because he's going to whine no, like I a bitch. I into a blind rage against the piece of shit. And that's basically my name for him. He's a complete piece of shit. Ooh, sick of burn, bro. Oh, burn, bitch. Burn. Oh, man. You fucking got me. Just like, oh, wow. Look, piece. Made, made I've never been called a piece of shit before, you know. <laughs> Damn. He made a 12 minute video of you pleading for money. Yeah, like, uh, click here to donate to support. Um, I believe he has a Patreon now, I think. Uh, but there's a K. He's a capitalist. Yep, yeah, I guess so. Rage at him, and it'd be justified. And I could bring up the fact that. You know, he essentially lives in America Junior, or as it's also known, Canada. I can... And what would the relevance be? <laughs> oh, you live in uh, fucking uh, this sister country of America? Canada. Oh, shit, you can't be a third world excuse you live in the first world. That's it's like saying you can't be against racism because you're white. Well, that's true. You could bring all this up, or the fact that the fucker's a goddamn capitalist. I mean... It <laughs> yeah, shit, man. I don't remember that happening. I don't remember owning any means of production and employing others in its use. There he is, not a communist. He's a capitalist. I wasn't aware that you could be a basement dwelling loser. You know, like <laughs> fucking live in your mom's house. You have no income. You have no job. But I'm still a capitalist. It's amazing how that works. It's just I. I just, <laughs> <laughs> Lots of logic there. Yeah, totally. He, he even made a video, another video, which I'm going to mention at another time, where he got all pissy with YouTube about day, about fucking with his cash flow. It's almost like I need an income in order to survive in capitalism or something. Um, but Jason, you're communist, so uh, you just get free money automatically. Yeah, and that's see. right. How dare you complain about having to work? Yes, terrible. Jesus hey, Jason, Christ. Hey, Jason, I thought you were a fucking communist. I can bitch about <laughs> money because I'm a capitalist. You're a communist. You're supposed to do it just for the betterment of 
everyone else or the general good. So what the fuck are you doing getting all pissed off with YouTube? Trying to survive, you stupid fuck. And then there's the issue of censorship, you fucking moron. For money. I thought money was evil, dickhead. No, you're thinking of the Bible, you stupid fuck. <laughs> this guy's fucking hilarious. There he is, <laughs> fucking drunk. So I could fly into a rage at him about that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> you just did! <laughs> you just did fly into a rage. Oh my god, this guy. Oh my fuck. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is fucking hilarious. I'm not going to. <laughs> now, in his video, he shows basically some bl bl police brutality. Now, I don't know if it all came from America, but I'm going to basically, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to concede the point. Yes, the police force in this country, we have some problems and we have to address it. But? But you really want to put our police force's brutality record against the fucking Soviet Union? Or yes. Wait. There was police brutality in the Soviet Union? I'm assuming there was police of, of, of police brutality in every country. What, it happens. Sure it's, it's called so not being perfect. First of all, show me some statistics, War Corps. I would love to see some data on police brutality from the Soviet Union. Because if you had that, I'd love to see it. And I would okay, love to compare that to the United States, no, which, by the way, that. is a racist police force and commits routine murders against people for their fucking race, routinely throws people in jail for, for no reason other than their race, and has the largest prison population per capita in the world, you fucking idiot. I'm sorry, go ahead. Who, the guy? <laughs> no, no, you were saying something and I totally cut you off. Yeah, you have to prove that yourself. Only no. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the burden is proof is on me because I'm not the one making the claim. Communist yeah, you Cuba or communist China? You. <gasps> oh, communist China. China. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, he doesn't know what the fuck communism or socialism is. So I'll give him a pass on that one. You really want to put our record against theirs? Okay, fine. Me too. <laughs> uh, well. Cuba, people get the shit beat out of them all the time. People get shot all the time. Oh, really? Really? I didn't know that. That's news. People to me. get shot all the time by uh, Cuba. That's really. Well, that's what. I... That's what funny. I would love to see a source for that because apparently Cuba just goes shooting people all the time. <laughs> In which case, even if that was true, that all would Cuba. describe the United States perfectly. <laughs> so what's the fucking, what's your fucking point? Because, you know, Castro just didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> See, every person who ever got arrested or shot by the police in Cuba was because Castro didn't like them. <laughs> oh my god! I don't like you, you should die. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this fucking guy? <laughs> Jason, you know what that reminds me of? What? It reminds me of you in Tropico. <laughs> She's got killing people because you don't like them. <laughs> oh, fuck. This fucking idiot's giving me a headache. <laughs> Just because Castro didn't like something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A. Oh, oh god. my god. What an argument. Shit. Jenny Guevara <laughs> was famous for doing that, executing people. Yeah, how the fuck is Che Guevara a symbol of peace? He's not a symbol of peace, you dickhead. <laughs> He's a symbol of violent revolution. Oh my god. And of course he executed people. There were executions for human rights crimes during the actual fucking war. I suppose the guy who was going around shoving hot pokers in women's vaginas as a form of torture deserved to live in your eyes. Yes, human rights, you know. Oh. <laughs> How long has this stream been going on? Uh, one hour and 40 minutes. See. Okay, because somebody asked that in the chat. Right. Oh, fuck. 
Oh shit, man. We're like not even halfway through the fucking. Anybody open a book and cancer? read about that motherfucker? He was not peaceful! <laughs> yeah, we know! <laughs> that was his point! He was never supposed to be peaceful! That's why he argued for violent revolution, you fucking idiot! Oh. He's a fucking loser warlord! And I say loser because <laughs> he lost every war warlord. he started! <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I wasn't aware the Cuban Revolution had failed. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I, I, damn, I, I didn't, what are you complaining about? There was no Cuban Revolution, there was no socialism. What are you, what are you complaining yeah, about then? Cuba was never socialist. Yeah, what are you talking about? There never was a revolution because he lost everything he started. But yeah, he loved to execute people who he thought were hurting the communist party in Cuba. You mean people who were committing war crimes during the war? <laughs> Wait, Jason, hold on. What? He just said Castro executed people he didn't like, but now he changed his story. Huh. No, he's talking Castro. about Che now. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, that only Castro had, like, such a low self-esteem that he had to kill people for no reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he was a real bully. <laughs> <laughs> so Che actually... Had a valid reason to kill people. <laughs> yeah, Che Guevara was a loser. Yeah, folks, yeah. Like, one of the most successful guerrilla commanders of all time was a doctor. Basically, is like an immortal symbol of resistance. Yeah, he's a loser. Like, what the fuck? Dude. Ah, oh, oh, fuck it. Just... China? It is getting fun. Really? China? Yeah, yeah, yeah. China's police force is just the bastion of calm and rational responses, like when they run protesters over with a goddamn tank. Problem. Now, I'm not one to defend communist, to defend capitalist China, because I don't. But, the tank guy was never run over with a tank. Yeah, he did stomp that tank. <clears throat> he was actually pulled out of the streets by his friends. He never actually got run over. The, the fucking footage is there. But I suppose you didn't actually see it. And even then, I support the guy who almost got run over with a tank. Because he was protesting against the dismantling of the Iron Rice Bowl by the capitalist rotors. So what the yeah. fuck are you... So you don't even know the context in which that existed. They fucking forgot the protests were socialists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really want to... You, you... And finally, Russia. <coughs> the USSR, oh, where you Russia. kind of base most of your shit on. And really... Oh, oh you yeah. That's funny, I actually used China, but whatever. I'm going pretty fast, because I don't want this video to become an hour fucking long. You yeah, trust me, I actually thank you for that. You really want to put <laughs> China's human rights records and China's police brutality? Yeah, capitalist China actually does have a pretty bad human rights record. Yeah, yeah, and it's capitalist China, by the way. So I don't think I really have to answer for capitalist China. Actually, I think you do. Against the United States? <laughs> Really, dickhead? Yeah. But let's look at Russia. Let's look at Russia. Yeah, let's look at Russia. All right, Yoshi, let's well, go. Come on. Joseph Stalin had more innocent people killed than Hitler did. Uh, wow. Oh, shit. What oh, that's numbers? right. The numbers that don't exist, uh, that oh, are physically God. impossible to have existed. Stalin killed people twice. There's that. Uh, Khrushchev wasn't much better. Um, well, fuck Khrushchev anyway, so... <laughs> what? Khrushchev fuck. killed as many people as Stalin? Oh, that's blasphemy. Uh, you know what? I, I, you know what? I don't really think Khrushchev really had that many people killed, and even then, I don't care. <laughs> He's a, he was a capitalist rotor. <clears throat> uh, there were several incidences of protesters having the piss beat out of them. Uh, when Pantera and Metallica went over to, uh, the country as it was still communist, uh, the yeah, uh, military actually they police weren't. there were beating the shit out of people just for enjoying a metal really? concert. Yes, I mean, I'm not going to defend reactionary era Soviet Union, but do you really think the police just went and beat somebody up for enjoying a concert? You don't Did think there really might have been some other motive for that? I don't even think the beating happened. Is there but a video? Let's assume, they, let, let, let's assume that it did. 
on what rational to... basis do you just beat people for enjoying a concert? You don't think there might have been some other reason that it would have happened? Assuming it no, did. Man. It's just socialism. No, no, it was just, no, the police, the Soviets saw people happy, so they thought, fuck this. That's wrong. Socialism, happiness is state Because they were enjoying it a little too, a little too rowdily. A little too rowdy. Yeah, mosh pit. Yeah, so... Oh, that's it. The Soviets were anti-mosh pit. Yeah, and the state fucking monopolized happiness. Yeah. Yeah, basically, Khrushchev was like, yeah, uh, you're not allowed to mosh, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and no, they were not just, you yeah. know, pushing him to the ground or punching him in the face. No, they were whapping him in the fucking head with fucking billy clubs. Wow. Unlike the United Ooh. States where they shoot you dead. Yeah, I think I take the beating. Yeah, t- drink more, that'll help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, communist. Yeah, yeah, communist countries. Yeah, they're all about freedom and no police brutality. Does this guy actually believe that? Like, where did I say that there was no police brutality in socialist countries? I said that. I didn't say that. No, but I said it. Oh, yeah, I don't and know I'm why me. you said that. Yeah, of course, there's police I'm brutality. You and you are me, so. Oh shit! That's right. I forgot. Yeah, you forgot. We're clones. Yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, I, that time that I said there's no such thing as fucking police brutality in socialist countries. Like, I, no, I'm not pushing some kind of utopia here. That's... Uh, Believe hit the lies? Uh, or, utopia. Or is he just conning? And I think he's conning. If I was conning people, I'd do a lot better play. than that. It speaks to a bunch of dumb, dipshitted, pissed-off teenagers because, quite frankly, if I was going to do that, I would just be an alt-rightist, like you. And then yeah. I could really whore myself out. That'd be very easy. But taking the most, taking the smallest, most niche position possible is the exact opposite of what you're claiming. Apparently they haven't lived in the real world. So oh, apparently I haven't lived in the real world. So the past 35 what? years, I've just... You live in a video game, Jason? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> yeah, I live in Battlefield 1942. Jesus Christ, Jason. Well, Explains bad. all the tanks. Oh, fuck. You're so tanky. Yeah, and by the way, we need Battlefield 1942 and Battlefield Vietnam on Steam. Hey, Gabe Newell, get, get your fucking ass on that. Those games are free. What do you mean? You can get them for free. On Steam? No, they made them available for free. Well, I mean, I have Battlefield Vietnam. I have the discs. Yeah, it's yeah. Just that they don't, it's just that they don't fucking run on Windows, on fucking Windows 7. They did run on Windows 7. The fuck you talking about? I tried it. couldn't get it to work. It did ran on Vista. It, did, did you install it as a Windows XP mode compatibility? No, because I don't have Windows <clears throat> XP. They didn't run on Windows XP? I didn't set it to Windows XP the compatibility because I don't have Windows XP. No, but you have to do it when you install them. Oh, well, Windows my 7. bad. I didn't forget to set it to an operating system that I don't have. No, you said there is a mode when you right click on the program installer and then you set it as compatibility, Windows XP. Oh, well, fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, no, you know. Okay, well, I guess I can install Battlefield Vietnam now. Yeah, you, yeah, you could try. All right, let's get back to this fucking this dumbass room. Speaks and get to them, finished. and it's counterculture. And, you know. And well, granted, it is counterculture. So he's. Basically playing a character. He's not a real communist. Why else would he go after fucking YouTube for fucking with his cash flow if he was a real communist? Because I need money to eat and have a place to live, douche nozzle. No, you must starve. So this is what I say about conspiracy theorists. If their if their if their view of reality doesn't correspond with how reality is they allege conspiracy it's basically <clears throat> that it's not this must be real it's it's not it's, fuck why am i even trying to explain this so anyway <laughs> watch this piece of shit's video um give him a dislike um so uh yeah or tell him what a fucking idiot he is you're so fucking triggered in this fucking video I can't believe oh, you. Oh, yeah, I can. Way down. Huh. Maybe 
maybe his popularity is waning. <laughs> Stronger than ever, you dumb anyway, shit. I'm on uh, Press TV now. On and as always, Jason Unruh, from the bottom of this capitalist heart, this proud American capitalist heart. Oh, oh shit. I am kill. I am totally kill. Oh my god, that was that was oh that was that was awful. You were so burned in that. Oh, I know, trip. shit, man. Oh shit. Oh, well, we just gotta bring the rope. <clears throat> yeah.